Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue with our teaching today. We've been talking about the Last Judgment T account. This is going to be part two of this T account. If you remember, in the first part of this, we talked about our foundation of scriptures. If you want to go back and look at those again, Romans 14, 10 through 12, and 1 Corinthians 3, 10 through 15, we talked about Christ's throne judgment seat. And the great white throne judgment seat we talked about in Revelations 20, 11 through 15. And we talked about it in Hebrews 9 and 27. And again, here, 2 Corinthians, Christ, Judgment Seat 5, 9 through 10. Now, we're going to break this down into detail this morning. We've told you this is probably one of the areas that's been undertaught. And we want to update you and bring you up to speed in this area. Now, here are two items again. Christ throne judgment seat to great white throne judgment seat. So we're going to compare and contrast in this T account. All right, you saw our foundation of scriptures, the judge. In both of these cases, in the divine judicial system, Christ will be the judge. Who will be judged? Christ's throne judgment seat is going to be for believers. The great white throne judgment seat is for unbelievers. So you see two different seats for two, two different types of people. Let's look at four, the purpose. Purpose of Christ's throne judgment seat is the rewards for the faithful service. The great white throne judgment seat to render punishment for those who rejected God's gracious offer of Christ. All right, when will this happen? The great Christ throne judgment seat, Christ throne judgment seat after the rapture during the tribulation period on earth. So we'll be raptured out and this will happen during the tribulation period on earth. The great white throne judgment seat after the millennium period before the lake of fire. So you see when this is going to be happening. Judgment criteria for those at Christ's throne judgment seat, no, condemn, no condemnation for those who place their faith in Christ. That's You see that in Romans chapter 8. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, all right? For the great white throne judgment seat, no defense for those who do not have the righteousness of God because they rejected Christ. So these are the ones who rejected Christ. That's the basis of their judgment, the ones who received Christ and the ones who rejected Christ. The outcomes, let's look at the outcomes. At Christ's throne, judgment seat, blameless before God. The believer will be blameless before God because of the righteousness of God through Christ. The non-believer at the great white throne, condemned to the lake of fire. What to do now? What can we do now? Well, for the believer, continue to serve God faithfully. All right, for the non-believer, repent and believe the gospel. Believe the gospel. There you have it, my friends. You see the breakdown of this T account of these two judgment seats. Christ's throne judgment seat, the great white throne judgment seat. Be blessed till we have opportunity to bring you another word in the future. God bless you.